So we have the first question, question number one. So we are told that the bank columns in the cash book for May 2021 and the bank statement for that month for Utuntu Enterprises are as follow. So you have the bank statement, you also have the cash book. Now, this cash book you are seeing here, it is not updated, okay? It is not what updated. To be not updated, it simply means that this cash book does not have some of the things that are appearing here on the what on the bank statement. Okay. So what, what is happening? I said that when the business is engaging itself in transactions, they record all the transactions that involve cash and those that involve bank in the cash book. Okay. This is our record as a business. Then at the bank, they also have the records of those transactions that we, we usually do as a business that involve the bank. They also have the, the transactions. Now, I said that in most of the times, you find that uh, the bank will always have the recordings that we do not have as a, as a business in the cash book. For example, you will have what are known as the standing orders. Now, with the standing orders, simply means that there are those times when you instruct the bank to be paying for you, okay? Uh, you, you give an instruction to the bank, a written instruct, instruction that, please, can you be removing money in my account every such, such a time to pay these following accounts, okay? Or this account. Maybe it's paying for electricity, or maybe it's paying for power, or maybe it's just paying for anything. But in most of, in most of the times, as long as you're paying for something, that usually happens, okay? Are you following? Hello? Are the people following? The dog is disturbing. Hey, you are hearing my dog. I've told him to stop making noise. Thank you. He has, he has a head. So now, so I was saying a standing order means you leave an instruction, okay? You leave an instruction uh, to the bank, you tell them that, please, can you be paying the following uh, uh, accounts uh, whenever such, such a date comes, okay? It could be maybe clearing for rentals, clearing for electricity or for something, okay? So once you leave that standing order, the bank will automatically remove the money every time uh, that date comes, okay? But most of the times, you as a business, you might not have the record that that month the money has been deducted, okay? So that record will not appear in your, in your cash book because in the cash book, we just write the day-to-day -day transactions. You saw what happened under cash book, how we enter the transactions. So those transactions are not usually there. They are, but they are there on the bank statement. Sometimes you have uh, the bank charges, okay? You have the bank charges most of the times on the bank statement. So with the bank, the bank charges, what, what it simply means is that there are those charges that the bank ha has, okay? They charge you for maintaining maybe your account for the services they provide to you. So there is some interest that you pay. We call them the bank charges. They charge you now. Those charges, they deduct money directly from your account. You might not be aware as a business that they have deducted money from our account, okay? Because you are not aware that they have deducted money, you will not record that transaction in the cash. Because you just record what you are aware at, at the business. So we also have got to what are, what are known as the, the unpresented checks and presented checks, those are bouncing checks. Uh, sorry, not bouncing checks, like the unpresented check or an outstanding checks. These are checks that you have issued as a business, right? You have issued a check. 
So it is there in the cash book on the credit side, right? You have issued a check. But that person you have given a check, they have not yet presented that check to the bank so that it can be honored. That check is called an presented check. So you find that that check is only there in the cash book, but it is not there at the bank, like in the bank statement. The bank statement will not have such records, right? So at the same time, again, there are what you call uncredited checks. The uncredited checks simply means that you have received the check as a business, okay? You have received the check. As you have received the check, you're going to record on the debit side of your, your cash book that we have received money. Just the same way how we are recording in the cash book. You record that, oh, I have received, we have received money as a business. But the problem is that because you have not gotten that check, you as a business, take it to the bank to be honored. Or you have taken it to the bank, but it has not been processed yet. What will happen is that in your cash book, you'll be indicating that you have received maybe 500,000. But when you check in your actual account, you find that there is no what? There is no money, right? Because that check has not been what? Honored yet, or it has not been processed. So what will happen? What will happen is that you, you will be counting in the cash book that we have money, but uh, that check will not appear in the bank statement because it has not been processed yet by the bank. That check is called, such checks are called uncredited, uncredited checks. So what happens is that the, the uncredited checks are usually there in the cash book, but they are not there in the, uh, on the bank statement. So now, because of those differences that I'm talking about, you have some records that are there in the cash book, but are not on the bank statement. At the same time, you have some records on the bank statement, such as the standing order, the bank charges, uh, 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 and other transactions. So there is need to harmonize, okay? To make sure that these writings are the same. The records that you have in the cash book or the records you have as a business in the cash book are equal to the records that are there at the bank, okay, in the bank statement. So that process of making sure that these figures, uh, that these figures can tarry, they can match properly, is what is called the banking reconciliation, okay? So re reconciling simply means the comparison of those the records, the details. You check what is recorded on the cash book, what is on the bank statement. You check those transactions that are not there on the cash book, but they are there on the bank statement. You should include them on the cash book, okay? That is what you're trying to do. You get those statements that are there on the cash book or that are not there on the cash book, but they are on the bank statement. They should be there on the cash book. They are not there on the cash book because you are not aware. But now that you are aware you have received the bank statement, you can add them on the cash book, okay? So that process of trying to, or to, to make sure that these records match is what is called the bank reconciliation. Is that clear? Very clear. And thank you very much. So now, the statement that you draw to make sure that these figures agree with each other is called a bank reconciliation statement. So the statement that you draw, I'll show you how to draw it, so that these figures match or agree with each other. Please, that is called a bank reconciliation statement. What are we required of doing now? Here's a requirement from the question that we have, we have received. We have the cash book as a business. We have also received the bank statement from the bank. So you can see the records that we have, that some of the records we have in the, in the bank, on the bank statement that are not there in the cash book. So what are we required of doing? The required is, number one, write up the cash book up to date to take the above into account, okay? So in other words, update the cash book. Can you update the cash book? Then number two, or B, can you draw up a bank reconciliation statement as of the first May 2021? Okay, 2021, uh, as of 2021, 3rd May, you have to draw up 
a bank reconciliation statement. Those are the those are the ones. Those are the things that you are supposed to do. Okay. All right. So how do you go about it? First of all, we have to update the what? The cash book, right? Updating the cash book. This cash book that you are seeing here, it is not updated because it doesn't have some records that are on the bank statement. You understand, right? So now, how do you update the cash book? Get this one properly. The debit side of the cash book is equivalent to the credit side of the bank statement. And the credit side of the cash book is equivalent to the debit side of the bank statement. You can repeat that, Vasa. These details should agree, okay? Make sure that the, the, the records are, that are on the debit side of the cash book are the same as those that are on the credit side of the bank statement, okay? And it applies the same to the credit side of the cash book that they should agree, the records should agree uh, with those that are on the debit side of the bank statement. Is that clear? It's clear, sir. Okay, let's start updating the cash book. Let's start now by updating the cash book. How do we update the cash book? Let's start. Sorry, we tabulate the table. We have the credit side and the debit side. Okay, we will have, we'll have the details here. We shall also have the amount. I don't want to put a lot of things. We shall have the details and the what? And the amount, okay? Yes, sir. Let's start from the debit side. Debit side of the cash book. We are updating the cash book. Now you should write an updated cash book, updated. We are updating the cash book, meaning we're including those transactions that are not there. There are two methods and I will start with the first one. Okay. The first one is to start by first recording all the transactions that we already have. Let's start by that one. So we have the balance brought down on the debit side, first we are filling in the debit side. Balance brought down, it is a three what? 250, isn't it? Yes, sir. We have, uh, we have Chawanza, Chawanzi, uh, seven what? Eh? 720. I able to see the, 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 the marker I'm using, right? Maybe use red. Maybe I use red. Yes. Okay. We have uh, we have Mwewa. Mwewa six what eighty five, right? And yes, uh, and Amodu three seven two, and the uh, Kulionisha uh, five eight what eight two. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So check now. There are some records, I told you. There are some of the recordings now that are not there on the debit side of the cash book, but they are there on the credit side of the what? Of the bank statement. Those you should add them. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So check which, which transaction is not there. 720 is already there. We have it, right? You can mark this Chishimba. one is already there. Ah, this is one there. is also there. 685, 372 is there. What else Eight. is not there? 85. The 85, which is Traders. the trade, trade, trade credit, trader's credit, isn't it? Yes, sir. So you should add the credit. That is the 85. Is this difficult? <laughs> there were sometimes questions I phrased out. It's what it depends. 
don't 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 worry uh we have been in this for many time for a long time actually last the last time the the question was asked like people are given the, the bank statement there so it, it just depends i'll show you, i'll run you through different examples so we are just starting this is the first one don't worry worry not about the future worry about what i'm talking about right now okay is that okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. It is okay. So let's go on the credit side now. We start again by writing what we already have. We have Chola 165, isn't it? Yes, sir. We had we had what chimba for what? 454. Five, four. And the Mokolima of uh, 38. Ten one four four, right? Don't write the balance carried down. No, we we'll write a new balance carried down. The balance carried down simply means they had balanced off that account and closed it. So what do you do now? You come on the debit side. I told you that the credit side and the debit side they are equal for that. Debit side of the bank statement should be equal to the credit side of the cash book, right? Check the yes. figures that are not there. 220. 220, Sun Kutu. Mm, these names. Uh, to what? 220. 220. What else? 63. And the standing order, right? Mm -hmm. The standing order. You never had the standing order in the cash book. I explained already. So you have you have it now. Okay, you've seen it. So you write 63, the standing order. And then what else don't you have? Bank charges. The bank charges. Obviously, you don't usually have bank charges at, at the at the at the what? At the as as in the business, you don't record those because you are not aware. The bank is only is the only one that is aware how much they have deducted. So you can only see the charges after receiving the what? The bank statement. Okay. Five what? Five two. Is that clear? Anything else? Well, when doing the update, you include Nothing it now. Else. Hello. Sorry. Yes, you should include it. Yes. Kai updating simply means. Updating simply means adding what was not there. Okay. That's updating. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. sir. Any question from anyone? Can a person ask me a question? I'm ready to pick questions. <laughs> Hello. Okay. People no are, question, okay. sir. Thank you. Let's balance off now. Let's balance off this account. Let's close it. You know how we close the account? We sum both sides, isn't it? You tot up yes. both sides on the left and on the right. Let me make sure we tot up correctly so that it agrees. Otherwise, if we miss one figure, it will not agree. You want balance. We can start from the debit side. 3250, 5,694. Let someone else confirm. This is very, very important. I found the same, sir. Okay. 
What about on the debit side? On the credit side, sorry. One thousand thirty six. One thousand thirty six. So, which means this side we have the lesser side, right? So, this big amount shall be written on both sides. Remember that conversation, I eh? do you remember how to balance off the accounts? <laughs> yes, so the, the big amount will write it on both sides. At least you said this one is 1000, right? Something subtracted from 5694. So that we can have the balance party eh? carried, carried down. down. Yes. Carried down to be 4658. Mm, 4658. 5858. Any question? Where have you indicated the 4658? Oh, there. Okay. okay, I've seen it. Sorry. Great, good, yeah. Now balance, balance the brought down on the other side, the same amount, four, six, five, eight. Is there any question on how to update the cash flow? If you understand this one, even the other examples where there would just be statements, you'll be able to relate. Okay. So the, uh, let's just keep the balance. That's the what we need. Four, six, five, eight. That's the most important. Four, six, five, eight. Four, six, five, eight. So we are done with number A. That's the updating the cash book. But I wanted also, I also want to show you the other way of updating the cash book, apart from this one where I copy everything. Do that one. Keep the figure. The other way, method number two of updating the cash book, the one which is classical. The classic one. You don't even suffer. These things you can command the computer to reconcile things for you. I don't know why you are still writing these things using your hands. <laughs> They're just making more problems, like it, to make you suffer. Otherwise, you can use the computer to do these things for you. Okay. Let's go ahead. So the first thing that you do, you just say total so far. Totals so far and the totals so far. So what it means, come here on the debit side and add everything that we have. Okay, then we write the total. Also on the credit side, we'll add the up to here. We'll, you don't include the, car, the balance carried down, okay? Add. What do we have on the debit side? It is 5609, isn't it? You can confirm. Hello, are you able to hear me? Uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> it will be fine. You have confirmed the figure, right? You can also do the addition on the credit side. What is the sum? The total so far. Seven zero one. Sorry, seven. Zero one. Seven zero one. If you want, you can say five six zero nine minus this balance carried down. Okay, should give you the same. Five six zero nine. Four nine zero eight. So I find one, zero, four, four, 16.
16 minus 8 minus 9 is what? Is 7, right? Yeah. So right, 7, 0, 1. Is that clear? So far? Yes. So now, how do you update the cash book? You just take now this debit side, you just take here what is not there. What what is not there is just 85, right? That's the one which is there, which is not there. So just add the, the trader's credit. Okay. Which is 85. You also come to the just get here, add what is not there here, what is not here. Because these figures have been added together already. Okay, so you are only adding what is not there. You got it? No. No, the way how we are doing it previously, like uh, those figures that are already here, like these, we have added them together. They are the ones that make 5609. So now we are adding what is not there in this mm -hmm. amount. What is not there is the trade credits, right? Mm -hmm. I said the debit side of the cash book is equivalent to the credit side. You're comparing mm -hmm. these figures. Okay, 720 is already here. So it's part of this five is 5609, okay? You got it, eh? Also meaning that you are getting this, uh, the need to figure their cash book and then you're comparing them with, is it credit or debit? Okay, just the way how we did the previous, don't, uh, okay, like, don't get confused about what we did previous, just the same one. It's only that oh, okay. there we had to repeat by relating these numbers. But now we are not relighting them. I've just added them together and have one figure, okay? After relighting them, we had to start adding what is not there. So that's what we are still doing. We are adding what is not there, okay, in this amount, right? What is not there is the 85. It is not here. So, which means it's not here in this amount, right? In this amount. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, that's what it means. You got it? Yes, sir. Then uh, we go on the credit card. The credit side. We didn't have what? The standing order or the, the Sungu to thing. Sungu to 220. And the, the standing order. Uh, which is what, 63, right? Yes, and the, the bank target, right? Right, yes, sir. five, two. Then from there, you just total, start adding. Five, six, zero, nine plus 85. This is what, five, six, what, nine, four, right? You're confirming the figures, right? Uh, <laughs> then you can write this figure on both sides because it's the biggest amount. Then what, what, what do you have on the credit side when you add 701 plus 220 plus 63 plus 52? That is the balance carried down. What's the balance carried down? 1036. 1036. Is that true? Oh, we have to find the balance carried down. So that 1036 should be subtracted from, from the 5694. Again, like we need the balance carried down. Okay, the balance carried down is 4658. Four, six, five, eight. And uh, that would be the balance brought down. Four, six, five, eight. 
You have seen that this is still the same thing, isn't it? Hello? Have you seen that you are still getting the same amount? Yes. Yeah. So this is what you do. That's how to update the cash book. Any question? No question, sir. We are understanding. Then now let's draw up the bank reconciliation statement. The following are the methods that you use to draw up the, balance, the, the bank reconciliation statement. Let's start with this method too, this one. The first method. The same one. Balance as pay. Okay. Let's not use this one, balance as pay bank statement. Let's use that one, balance as pay cash book, the updated cash book. That's the one you should start with. Balance as pay updated cash book. We've seen it, right? So you start writing balance as per what? Per updated cash book. You know. It is how much? Four, six, five, eight. Is it? Yes, sir. To that, you should add what? And presented checks. Add and presented what? And presented checks. So, what are the unpresented checks? The unpresented checks, those are the checks that you have issued as a business, right? You have issued those checks. Now, to issue a check simply means that that check is there on the credit side of your what? Of your cash book, right? But those checks are not there on the bank statement. Those are unpresented what? Unpresented checks. Is that clear? So in short, you're looking for the figures of, of the values that are there on the cash book, on the credit side, of course, here. But they are not here on the debit side of the cash book, of the bank statement. What values are those? They are here on the cash book, they are there. But not on the, what values are they? You can see that 165 is not here, right? It's not on the bank statement, isn't it? Hello? You are looking for the value, the, the figures that are here. They are here on the credit side of the cash book, this cash book, which is not updated, okay? These values, but they are not there here on the bank statement, not there. We have 165, right? 165 is there on the credit side, but not there on the debit side of the bank. Are you following? Any other? Do, do you have any other, any other value that is not here on the, the bank statement, but there on the credit side of the cash? Uh, 44. 44. 44. So we have 165. So you have to add 165 plus what? 44. Those are the ones that make it unpresented check. Add them together. Kai 454 is already there. Two zero nine. Two zero nine. So two zero nine is the value of the unpresented what checks. Then you, to this amount you should less uncredited what uncredited checks. Now, with uncredited checks, is the opposite of unpresented checks. There are those checks that are already there on the what on the debit side. They are here 
on the debit side of the cash book, but not on the credit side of what? Bank statement, right? Yes, sir. What values are those? Apart from the balance brought down, don't count the balance brought down. 720 is also there here, 685 is there on both, 372 is there on both, 582 is not there, right? Are you able to see the 582 I'm talking about? This 582 for Kulionesha is not there. It's not here on the credit side of the bank statement. So it is an accredited check. What it means is that you received this check and you recorded that we have received the check, but you have not taken it to the bank so that it can receive money. That's why it is called uncredited. Any question? Hello? What does the silence mean? <laughs> does it mean people are not following or what? For me, I'm just a little bit behind you, so I'll just, to, I'll just go through. Uh-uh, ask me, ask me here. Where, where, where are you behind? What's the challenge you control it right in the class? No, you have I many recordings to follow. <laughs> there are many recordings that you have to follow. So this is show of saying how, you see the recordings will start piling up. Understand in class. What is your question, madam? You are you, you. We start with an un, unpresented checks. These checks that are recorded here on the cash book, they should also appear on the debit side of the bank statement. You understand? That is to start with. Yes. So now you are looking for the numbers that are there here on the cash book. There but not there on the bank statement here on the debit side, okay? So we say the 165 is not here, right? And the 44 for Teman is also not here. That's why those were added here to form an presented check. An presented check. <laughs> Okay, sorry, um, yeah. So did you get that one? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So now, when it comes to an accredited check, it's the opposite. It is the opposite. You look at the numbers that are here on the debit side of the cash book, but not here on the credit side. Okay, we checked, we found that 720 was there, it's there. 
685 is there both. 372 is also there, right? But 582 is not there on the bank statement. That's why we say it is an uncredited check. It means that you received a check, but this check has not yet been processed by the bank. So the money has not yet entered your account, but you recorded that you have received it. So when you less these, you have understood? Yes, sir. And then also, I'm sorry to take you back. Where I was behind is uh, the figures uh, for balance and the figures of them on the cash book. That's why I was also asked. No, this, uh, this balance brought down, you should not add it. It's not part of a check. It can be a check. This is ah. the amount that was brought. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the bank, for example, the debit, credit, and then the balance. This balance, this one? Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not a check, that one. Those are not checks. Okay. We are just talking about the check. Okay. okay. So you end up with a balance as per bank statement. That is the answer you should find. So can you add, add 4658 plus 209, then minus 582. What do you get? 84658 plus what? Plus 209. Then plus the 582. Mm -mm, minus. We are less. Then less, What's the difference? Uh, 582. Mm -hmm. The difference is 4285. It is 4285. Uh, you can try again. Four six five eight plus two zero nine. Find the answer. Then you say minus five eight two. Four two eight five. It's four two eight five. Yes, sir. Okay. It is four two eight what? Five. Oh, eight five. Oh. This I'm... is the balance as the bank what statement, and the exact you've, you've seen, ka? Down here where there is, the, this is the last balance for bank statement. That is what you found. Okay, it's agreeing. Okay. Yes, sir. Any question? No question, sir. Then the other method, just keep this and present it, take the values for and present it, take and, uh, and uh, let's keep this in our head. Let me show you the other method. You do the reverse. Okay. You start with the, the balance, the bank statement. We have said that unpresented check, keep that in head, is 209 and credited check is 582, right? Then the bank statement balance is 4285. So the other method, you start with the balance as per bank statement, not as per cash book, uh -uh, as per bank statement. So you start with the four, uh, four to what? 4285 as the other method. Then to this one, you will add uncredited checks. Instead of adding unpresented checks, remember pre the, other the other method we are adding unpresented checks to the cash book, to the balance per cash book. Now, if you start with the balance as per bank statement, you should add uncredited checks. That is five what? It was five what? I've forgotten. Five eight two. And then through this, you should do less and presented text. And presented text, we said is two zero nine. Then what you should end up with is the balance as per what? Pay two zero nine. 
a cash book, updated cash book. You get it? Check if you have the balance for updated cash book. The balance for updated cash book is eight is five six five eight, right? Or four six five eight. Let's see if that is what we're gonna find. Is it what we find? Hello? Just add 4285B plus 582, then minus 209. This is 209. Four six five eight. Four six five eight, which is the balance pay updated cash book. Have you seen that now the differences are reconciled, right? That tells that shows that what you have in the cash book is exactly what you have on the bank party bank statement. 